Denmark is a very digitized society, so we have uh, almost all our public services are already digital um, by default, uh, and uh, there's a high usage of uh, private services such as banking and streaming and all sorts of other things like that. So there is actually quite a high usage of digital services, and that means there's a high demand. Uh, but in some areas that, uh, that have a difficulty with uh, broadband connections, there was a need for some assistance. So we created the Broadband Fund to enable the locals to get more financing for the projects uh, that they wanted to carry out locally. The Broadband Fund provides funding for local projects um, where the locals get together, select a supplier, after announcing their project on a public website, they form a partnership and then they come to us in uh, the energy agency and we can provide them with the gap funding that they need. So the missing uh, investment from what the operators would usually uh, invest in, in an area and up to the cost of uh, what the actual cost in that particular area uh, is because these are usually hard to reach areas so the cost can be quite high. We have um, set in place financing that you can apply for after you have uh, created a local project. So what we've set up is a procedure for the locals to get together, uh, find out who else in their area could be a part of a project who has bad coverage. And then we set up a website uh, where they can advertise their projects um, to find uh, a commercial partner um, for the projects and uh, to allow full transparency so that all market players uh, are able to make offers to the different projects. And once they get together, then they can apply to us for the funding that may be needed. We had uh, lots of projects um, that applied for funding in our first year. We are now in the second out of four years in our broadband fund. For the first round, uh, we had uh, about 4,000 addresses uh, that will be covered. We had um, 167 applications, um, and uh, we had more applications than we could fill. We, uh, um, we committed to finance, uh, co-finance uh, 31 projects. We continue to work on um, developing the information that we provide to the locals because we see a high demand for that. These are people that have rarely been involved in technical projects before and certainly never uh, a broadband project. What's been really good about this project is um, the ownership that the locals have of the projects. And we've seen the projects uh, in some cases actually become commercially viable because there's been so much uh, local demand that it wasn't even needed uh, that we gave them financial aid. Um, so that was a, a really excellent uh, thing to bring out uh, to everyone that as long as you get together, there could be solutions even if you don't uh, apply for, for aid from the government, but that uh, the model works on its own. If you get together enough uh, in the local area, it can actually give you coverage.